2022 forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Clouds have turned darker off to our west. If you're watching us in Gettysburg, you can see the dark clouds off there in the distance. And soon thereafter, we'll see some passing showers. A few areas west of the Susquehanna River will see some showers tonight, but I expect widespread rain to move into the Susquehanna Valley later tonight. And some of that rain could be quite heavy. 79 right now in Gettysburg, dew point sitting in the lower 60s. And the wind's been breezy across the Susquehanna Valley, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour in some locations. But here it is on Super Doppler 8, still dry, but some showers are just now starting to enter our far western counties. If you're watching us in Franklin County, we got some light rainfall just to the west of Chambersburg. Light intensity now, but let me uh, pan out here and show you just how big this storm system is. The center of the storm is centered back toward Fort Wayne, Indiana. So this batch will move in to the Susquehanna Valley later tonight. Yes, there is some drier air that it's battling, but as the air moistens up, we are really going to start to see some heavier rainfall starting overnight and through tomorrow. 79 in Harrisburg, 78 currently in York, and 75 in New Freedom. Temperatures will slowly be dropping down into the lower 70s after dark tonight. Dew points have continued to slowly climb now that we're in the lower 60s across much of the area. That is ripe for some passing showers. So here is your News 8 Storm Team forecast. Clouds will continue to thicken. We'll have a few showers to the west. Temperatures in the lower 70s. And then after dark, that's when the rain will pick up in intensity, especially while you sleep. And that rainfall will be on and off and heavy at times through the majority of our Tuesday. And with that thick cloud cover, temperatures are only going to be making it to the upper 70s. High pressure is now scooted off toward the uh, eastern shore. And now that we're on the back side of that, all that moisture is pumping into the Susquehanna Valley. And with the storm providing the lift, on and off rainfall showers are likely. And this is not moving very fast. It's going to move over Lake Erie and Lake Ontario through the day tomorrow. Eventually, though, this cold front and this cold front will meet up. And then the rain will move off to our east as we head into Wednesday. And unseasonably cool air will build back into the forecast. So let's time the rain out here for you. Watch the time here at the top of your screen. Still a chance for hit and miss shower until we head into the overnight hours. Here we are first thing tomorrow morning. Looks like a wet commute for much of the Susquehanna Valley. Could get a break in the heaviest rain tomorrow afternoon, but then the rain will pick up in intensity again as the front moves from west to east across the area. Then the rain will then start to taper off as we head on into Wednesday afternoon. Talking rainfall totals, much of the Susquehanna Valley is going to see this rain, and we're talking anywhere from one to two inches of rain. And a few isolated spots could be more. This is a little on the aggressive side here on the predictor. I think one to two inches can be uh, uh, forecasted with this incoming system. Also, not ruling out a threat of an isolated strong storm with some damaging winds, but most likely thing is going to be some isolated flash flooding. If you live or work near an area that is prone to those ponding on the roadways, be advised it could be an issue. So temperatures stay in the 70s, rain likely until we head on into early on Wednesday morning. But from what has been the weather pattern for much of the summer, cooler and drier and unseasonably cool air around in drier weather on into the weekend ahead. Got some kids art to show you. Thank you very much, Cody Lutz, from sending us this picture in from Lidditz. And congratulations to Sharon Peterson of Christiana for our Weather Watcher Umbrella winner, courtesy of Whitaker Center.